Well, before I restart 65 and 65, I thought I'd go all vlog on you. And yes, this is not part of any of the proper proper Code of Course for your series. And as always, as is Code of Course for your rule, no clips, audio, stuff from Fringe of Its Magic is being used because they are owned by Hasbro and now apparently Shelf Factory. Which, how in the world does that happen? I'll get to our friends about that soon enough. But, seeing that today is the anniversary of the premiere date of Fringe of Its Magic, and Yes, this might be new to the YouTube contingency. It was on this day three years ago on on the very young hub network that Friendship is Magic began in earnest with its opening pilot. Now, I have only been a brony for four months, five months. There have been three shows that have impacted my life to an extreme level. That would be Power Rangers, a show that I still watch to this very day, new episodes and all, for 20 years. Two, Digimon, who, which helped me out of my my depression, depression and got me out of a bad jam when I was in high school. And thirdly, of course, as I mentioned in my Code Lyoko the Review opener, Code Lyoko practically was the start of my karmistic lifestyle. It is the center of my thought. It's funny to say this now, but I guess we can add a fourth show to that rare list of shows of impact, and that would be if I am. It's funny when I started reviewing the show for the Catech Reviews that I had... No intention of becoming a fan. I didn't think I was going to be. The show pretty much hit me like a ton of bricks. Or to use a GTA 5 analogy, hit me over the head, head with an aluminum or wooden bat. And the reason that I have done the things that I've done recently is because I believe wholeheartedly in what the show teaches and what the show gives. You know, it's unbelievable what running into the right show at the right time can do for a psyche, for a life, and and for something that I've been honestly looking for, which is purity on television. And I'm glad that I found it in this. What the show has taught me is the value what you have. Value your friends, value your memories with those friends, value everything about what you have and strive for more but never forget where you've come from. Never, never forget that 
for all of us that do this YouTube thing and for all of us that do anything in life. Understand that we all have come from our own our own little slices of Ponyville in any walk of life. We all come from the lowest rum and we all try to reach a place of understanding and of clarity that would make our future lives better and benefit the ones around us. We all had our struggles, we've all had our tests and our doubts about what is being, you know, passed up on. And some of us have reached the place in our lives where where we feel that we've ascended to that next level of understanding. Some of us have not. But sometimes it takes stepping a little bit out of the box to find out where that inspiration comes from. If I were to put a cutie mark on myself, which strangely in my own fan fiction headcanon thing that I have in my head, I have, it would be simply inspiration for a lot of people. I've been the inspiration to many people that have gone through their struggles and have persevered. Both of my teammates on the channel, you know, Dragon Go Tech and Slash Arbiter have had personal issues. They've had personal battles that they've had to overcome. Bouts of depression, bouts of lack of self-confidence. They've all had to overcome these things to get where they are now. And so have I. I've had to overcome these battles and these fights to reach where I'm at. But I look at doing these videos not for the sake of making money, not for the sake of being popular. I just hope that there is one view that finds what I do something to inspire to do. That it's okay if all you want to do is sit around with a webcam and do videos all day. Sometimes that is the best career path for some people. To use the arts as a means to voice opinion, to get the word out. Just because you don't have 10 million views a video, just because you haven't made money out of the monetization doesn't mean that what you're doing has no purpose, has no meaning. Of course, it has a meaning. It has a meaning to someone somewhere. And that is the ultimate friendship lesson is be an inspiration. Be something that inspires other people to reach their own alicorn states in life. That way, when they come to their next group of friends or their next of kin, that they know the path that you have taken, your friends know the path that they have taken, and that the and that the word spreads around. And 
is something that ultimately helps the world out in general. And, and really being a part of this show, being a part of this fandom, has changed my life reflectively for the better by making me understand that even though I am a strong individual, even though I am very strong-willed and very competent on my own, that for bigger tasks such as being successful on YouTube, I need partners. I need a team. That's why I made this channel a team thing. Because I feel a value of a man is not based on what the individual does in a goal. A value of a man is based on who you pick up and how many lives you touch. That is the value of a good man. That is a value of a life lived. It is not about what you do individually in a life. It's about how many lives that you touch. How many dreams you inspire. How many people remember you when you are all said and done and want to carry on your legacy and your words and remember what you are. Tr the true path to immortality is not through any kind of youth drug. A true, the true path of immortality is through memories that you leave and the people that you, that you touch, that you walk to, or in my case, roll to. It, it's how you become immortal. That's how you become your own alicorn immortal. Is because your name is remembered even though you have been long since gone. And your time has long since passed. And that... That is the best lesson that hasn't been taught on the show yet. But it is the lesson that so far, in so many ways, this is the lesson that the show has guided me to. And as I begin the next step of 65 and 65, remember that it is not about necessarily the goal or the even sometimes the journey. It's about who you bring along that makes the journey memorable. And I hope I can bring you along for what remains of this journey. And I hope, even on an individual level, that if you're having a bad day, if you're doubting yourself, if you're questioning anything about what you're doing today, put on this video and maybe, just maybe, it will inspire you to keep going. Keep trotting because, because if you just work your way out of the dirt, eventually that dirt will become clear and you'll begin to gallop. And once you start running, it doesn't end. It never, ever, truly 
through all that you go through, through all that you see, it never ever ends if you just allow yourself to just keep running, just keep running, it will all, it will all find its way to success. very soon and I just wanted to take this time out to do a video like this because I feel that it's necessary for me to under to express how much this show has changed me, how much this show means to me in the current, and that. I have become a better person because I took a gamble on a show that I never thought would change my life. Take a gamble on someone, something, whether it be personal or whether it be a friend's challenge or whether it'd be something else. Take that challenge. Challenge yourself. You'll never know if you just gamble and roll the dice. You'll never know. You might find that what challenges you may change you. And it may change you for the better. And if you're willing to change, then I can already tell you. If you find the magic within yourself to change where you think you're going to go, then I can almost tell you, without certainty, you most definitely have the magic to inspire others. Use this anniversary today, bronies, to inspire others. Do, do as I do every day. Learn to inspire others. Always strive hard and never back down. Because if you show that you won't quit, you might inspire another to start. And that, my friends, is one of the best lessons of all. Thank you.